okay so good day everyone so for this uh, video we will be tackling still about the circle so how are we going to find the equation of the circle given some circumstances or some conditions in order for us to arrive the equation of the circle so in standard form and in the general form so specifically we have the standard form x minus h square plus y minus k square is equal to the r square okay so let us use that standard form in order for us to arrive the equation of the circle given this problem okay so for example find the equation of the circle tangent to the line 2x minus y equals 3 at point 2 1 and the center on the y-axis so for us to easily identify as what I've said in my previous video okay so the first thing that we have to do is to illustrate the given Okay, after illustrating the given, then that's the point wherein we have to conduct several processes or several methods that we can use actually in finding the equation of the circle. So we have different methods that we can use. And as long as we arrive at the same answer, okay, so we can say that the answer is correct. Okay, so for this one, okay, the first thing that we have to do is to illustrate, okay, or to graph the line 2x minus y equals 3 at point 2, 1 and also to indicate our uh, center which is in the y-axis okay so to illustrate our given okay so we have point of tangency at positive 2 positive 1 so this is our point of tangency okay so it is uh, it states that the center is on the y-axis but there is no um, given if our center lies in the positive y-axis or in the negative y-axis. But one thing that we can do is to graph the line so that we, uh, we will have the idea on where the graph or on where the center lies. If it is in the positive y-axis or in the negative y-axis. So let us use the table of values for 2x minus y equals 3. So if we have 2x minus y equals 3, so let us use the table of values. Okay, so x, this is y. If our x is 0, let's say for instance our x is 0, we can see that our y is negative 3. Okay, and then if we have um, our x, which is positive 2, that is 2 times 2 is 4, okay? And then, since that is, okay, so to show it, okay, 2 times 2 minus y equals 3, then this will be 4 minus y equals 3, okay, transpose, negative y equals negative 1, then y equals positive 1. That's why we have the point of tangency, which is positive 2, positive 1, okay? So, we have, okay, let us graph that given table of values, 0, negative 3. Okay, so this is now our line, 2x minus y equals 3. Okay, so we have to take note, okay, that when we say tangent, okay, it just touches okay the circle at exactly one point so from our graph we can say that the center uh, is not lying on the negative y-axis because if the center lies on the y-axis therefore this line will not be a tangent anymore okay because this will intersect the circle this line will become a second okay so meaning so our center lies here okay either of the values let us assume for example, uh, let's say for instance our our center here, okay, so we have 0k, okay, so we have to denote as 0k because we don't have yet the value for our y or our k coordinate, okay, so that is tangent, okay, so maybe something like this, our graph, okay, so how can we find, okay, how can we determine, 
okay, rather our center. Okay, because the two necessary information or properties that we should have is this the radius and at the same time the center. Okay, we are given a center but there is an unknown value for our coordinates. So we need to uh, work on our k value. Okay, so if I'm going to extend from the center, this is an assumed center. Okay, so this is not yet the final center. So let's say for instance, this is our center. And if we're going to extend this to the point of tangency, that instance for R. Okay, so we can say that this is R1. Okay, so R1, okay, it, to determine the length or the distance between the center and R1, which is the center at 0k to our point of tangency, which is to 1. Okay, since we are given two points, then we can use the distance formula between two points. So since it is denoted by R, so R sub 1 is equal to the square root of we have 0 minus 2 square plus k minus 1 square. And that is 0 minus 2, that is negative 2 square, so that will be positive 4, plus k minus 1 square. So for our r sub 1, we have the square root of 4 plus, expand this binomial, we have k square minus 2k plus 1. Therefore, our r sub 1 is k square minus 2k plus 5. Okay, so that's for r sub 1. So since we have here two, uh, two variables, and then our goal is to find the value of our k. Okay, take note that we are given a tangent line. So there's a purpose why we are given a tangent line. So if we're going to get the distance from the center to the tangent line, okay, so distance from the center to the tangent line, which is 2x minus 3y equals 3. We can have this what we call the second radius. Okay, so from the center to the tangent line, that will be our second radius. So to, deter to determine the second radius, we have the center at 0k to our tangent line, which is 2x minus y equals 3. Or writing this in general form, we have 2x minus y minus 3 equals 0. Okay, we can use the formula in, uh, in finding the distance. Okay, so in finding the distance between a point and a line, we have ax sub 1 plus by sub 1 plus c all over the square root of a square plus b square. Okay, so plug in all the given. So we have a, which is 2, times x sub 1, we have 0. We have b, negative 1, times our y sub 1 is k, plus c, that is negative 3, all over the square root of. We have 2 square plus we have negative 1 square. And then we have now 2 times 0, that will be 0. We have negative k minus 3 all over the square root of 2 square is 4. Negative 1 square is 1. So 4 plus 1 is 5. Okay, so that is for our r sub 2. Okay, so you have to take note that in our properties of the circle, okay, all radii are equal or all radii are congruent. So meaning to say, we can equate the equation since r sub 1 is equal to r sub 2. So if we have r sub 1 equals r sub 2, then we can have the value for k. So our r sub 1, we have the square root of k square minus 2k plus 5, which is actually equal to negative k minus 3 over square root of 5. Okay, so squaring both sides, why we need to square? In order for us to eliminate the radical sign. Okay, squaring both sides, so we have k squared minus 2k plus 5, and that is equal to negative k minus 3 squared all over. So, uh, we can uh, now um, 
eliminate the radical sign, this will be over 5. Okay, so that will be cross multiplication. So we have 5k square minus 10k plus 25 equals negative k minus 3 square. Okay, so you have to multiply this 5 to this quantity. Okay, so we have 5k square minus 10k plus 25 equals expand this binomial square. So we have k square plus 6k plus 9. And then let us combine like terms. Okay, so we have 5k square minus k square is 4k square. Negative 10k minus 6k, negative 16k. 25 minus 9 is positive 16 equals 0. As we can see, our equation is divisible by 4. So this will be k square minus 4k plus 4 equals 0. And our given, our equation is perfect square trinomial. Okay, so the square of 4 is 2, the square of k square is k, okay, twice, the first term and the last term, and that is 4k. So since that is negative, then we can transpose this as k minus 2 square equals 0. So giving the value of our k, okay, so therefore our k equals positive 2. Okay, so since our k is positive 2, so we can say that our center is at 0, positive 2. Okay, so this will be our new, this will be our new graph. Okay, so let us graph the given. Okay, the center is at 0, 2. And our point of tangency is 2, 1, 1. Okay, so that's the line. And this is our circle. Okay, so think that this is a circle. Okay, so we have now the center and we don't have yet the the radius okay so to find for the radius we can just actually substitute the given value in our r sub 1 or r sub 2 okay so to find for the radius we have r sub 2 equals okay or r sub 1 na lang because if we are going to use the r sub 2 we will rationalize the entire um, expression so we have R sub 1 equals the square root of k square minus 2k plus 5. Okay, so since our k is 2, so we have 2 square minus 4 times 2 plus 5. Therefore, our R sub, our R is equal to the square root of 2 square is 4. Okay, minus uh, 2, sorry, this will be 2. Okay, minus 4 plus 5. So, our R will be, okay, so our R will be the square root of 5 units. Okay, now we have the radius and we have now the center. Then, we can actually get our equation of the circle. So, to find for the equation of the circle, okay, so we have the center at 0, 2, and our radius is the square root of 5 units. Okay, so we have the standard form, x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. So, we have x minus our h is 0 squared plus y minus k that is 2 square is equal to the square root of 5 square so we have now x squared plus y minus 2 squared equals we have 5 so this is our standard form so to get the general form you have to expand this and then equate it by 0 so we have x squared 
plus y squared minus 4y plus 4 equals 5. Then we have x squared plus y squared minus 4y. That will be minus 1 equals 0. So this is our general form. Okay, so I hope you like this, um, this video and then click the subscribe button. Thank you so much.